Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today is day 20 of our 30 day sequel challenge where we're going to get some practice with common table expressions that we learned in day 19. So let's look at our agenda for today. Our agenda today is that we're gonna have three questions and we are going to code out the answers to those questions using CTEs. Now, if you are new to the 30 day challenge, welcome, so happy to have you. The whole goal is to work on SQL, preferably for 30 days straight to learn those beginner to intermediate SQL skills. There are two QR codes in front of you. The topic list is a Word document along with links to supplemental resources that I highly recommend you check out. And on the right is a Facebook support group where you can join the chat to ask questions about the videos, give feedback, find a study buddy, help troubleshoot after you have already tried to troubleshoot yourself, and much more. I'm going to link both of these in the description below. So these are the three questions that we are answering today. And we're actually going to take a step out of SQLite Studio and use an online editor that is sql-practice.com. I'm going to link this online editor in the description below. This way we can kind of get used to looking at a different schema to kind of test your ability of how you do when you're giving new data. So we're going to start easy and then increase difficulty. The first question is going to be selecting all of the product names and their categories, selecting customer IDs and the number of orders that each customer has made, and then selecting the product name and the total number of orders for each product and only return products that have been ordered more than 50 times. So some of these can be performed by using subqueries or certain joins, I'm going to demonstrate them by using common table expressions since that is what we're going to practice. So let's go ahead and jump right into this online tool. So like I said, the URL is pretty easy. It is www.sql-practice.com. And you want to make sure that you switch from the hospital database to the Northwind database. That is the database that we're going to be using feel free to play around with the hospital database as well for practice purposes, but I'm going to use the Northwind database. Now, the first thing that we wanna do when we have this new database is to look at the schema and the entity relationship diagram. So when I hit view schema, it tells me the table names, it tells me how the tables are related. It also tells me the type of variables. So product ID is integer, text, so forth. So I can kind of look at how tables are related so I know how to join them properly. Okay, so for our first question, select all product names in their category names. Now, looking at the tables that I have on the left, the first thing that we want to decide, and I'm just going to make a comment right here, is what tables are we using? Let's always start there. So in this case, it looks like I have a category table. I also have a products table, and it looks like the primary key, which is this yellow, which is unique for every row in this table. It also has two foreign keys. So it looks like that the foreign keys are category ID and supplier ID. So these two columns can connect to another table. So I'm going to look at categories and category also has category ID. I can view the schema and see what products that there is a relationship to category as well. So since I'm going to need product name as well as category name, these are the two tables that I want. So let's put this here, products and categories to kind of think this through. Great, now that we have two tables that we're using, what joins do we want to do, if any? So what column to join on? So I'm gonna look right back at that schema between these two tables. And it looks like you can join on the category ID because the category ID is the same for both of these tables. So I'm going to just say, it looks like category ID. Now that we have how we joined them, what do we actually need to return? So what columns do we need to return? 
And so based off of this, it looks like I need to return the product name based off of the question in category name. And this should help me get started with writing the query. So kind of if this helps you, write out the information that you need. So now let's try to do this with a common table expression. So remember our common table expression keyword is width. And let's just go ahead and call this products categories as, and I'm gonna put my parentheses and now let's select what we need. So we need to select the product name. So I'm going to put P dot product name. So I'm going to expand product. So P dot product underscore name, it pops up for me. I also want to select the category name. So category name is gonna be in the categories table. So I'm gonna alias it as C. And I'm gonna do C dot category underscore name. Awesome. Now I'm going to select it from products. It doesn't matter which table I list first because it's an inner join. I'm only going to join products that have a matching category. So I'm going to do from products and we alien that SP. And then I am going to do, keeps trying to auto finish what I'm trying to do. Then I'm going to do a nice little join. And now I'm going to do categories and I'm going to alias that as C and I'm going to hit the side arrow so it can stop auto completing for me. And now what do we actually want to join on? So we want to join on P dot category ID is equal to C dot category ID. Awesome. And now I'm going to close that query. So this should give me what I want. Now, in order to select everything, from this CTE, we can write our query right underneath it. So I'm gonna do select star from product categories. And that is going to be my query with the semicolon right after. So anytime when you're using these common table expressions, keep in mind that the query that you're doing comes right after the CTE. So this CTE is only going to apply to this piece of code. If I need to use this common table expression again, it will be best for me to create a temporary table. So let's go ahead and run this. And this is what I get. I get the product name of chai and beverages, and it looks like there's some Cajun seasoning and condiments and so forth and so forth. So I get the product names and the categories that they're in. So this is how to do this. Now, could you have just done this with a join, this inner um, piece that I have highlighted? Sure, but I wanted to practice using common table expressions. So either way. Okay, so the next one is select customer ID in each customer's number of orders. I meant to put of orders here. So I want to select the customer ID and I want to get a count of how many orders the customer has made. So let's go ahead and write out our question. What tables are we using? So I need customer information and orders information. So I'm gonna view schema because it's a little easier for me. I see that I have customer. So I have things like customer ID, which I can return. And I want a count of the orders by customer. So it looks like my orders table can be joined on this same column called customer ID. And that I also can count up how many orders they have by counting on the order ID column. And then of course I would have to group because I want to return Jelly made 10 orders, Darius made 50 orders, Marcus made 100 orders. So in that case, I wanna make sure I group by the customer. So let's go ahead, what tables are we using? We're gonna use customers in orders. You don't have to do this, I'm just mapping it out for people. What column do we join on? Looking at the schema, we are joining on that customer ID column, and I'm just going to make sure I spell it correctly, customer underscore ID. And then what columns do we need to return? So what columns to return? We want to return the customer ID, 
and some type of order count column. So I'm just gonna put a count of order ID. Awesome, so now let's try to use a, a common table expression. What keyword do we use first? The keyword with, good. So I'm gonna call this with customer orders as, and now I'm gonna do my query. So I'm gonna select everything that I know that I'm going to need first. So I'm going to go ahead and select, I want the customer ID that comes from the customer's table. So I'm gonna alias it as C. So C dot customer ID. I know that I also want a count of the orders. So if I expand orders here, I have order ID. So I could do a count of order ID. And I'm gonna read this as uh, total orders. Okay. And now I know that I am trying to do, and I'm gonna put O dot order ID. Doesn't matter if I put that O there because there, the order ID only exists in the orders table. So it will know what I'm talking about. So that is coming from the customers table. So we're gonna do customers at C. Join on the orders table. So we're gonna do orders as O. And what do we want to join on? So we want to join on that common column that we mentioned in the comment up here. So c.customerID is equal to o.customerID. And then we want to group by this count. So this count, we want to only count by a certain group and that is going to be the customer ID. Awesome. So now we have our common table expression. I'm going to put in a nice little query underneath this. So I'm just going to do a select. I'm going to select everything <laughs> from this table that I just created, customer orders. And let's order by total orders descending. So let's make the customers who ordered the most at the top. Here we go. Total order syntax as total orders. Let's see what's going on. Oh, my order by. <laughs> I just put order versus order by. See how you're easily able to troubleshoot? Awesome. So we see Savea had the most orders, then Ernst, and then Quick, and et cetera, and et cetera. Okay, so those are some interesting customer IDs. Could I have done it this way just by doing this inner join? Yes, I could have. So if you really want to go back and practice this just using joins, please do so. Okay, so our last example here is we want to select the product name and the total number of orders. So we want to sum here. Uh, for each product, but only return products that have been ordered more than 50 times. Okay, so let's do what we've been doing. What tables are we using? So let's think about this. We want product name and order. So let's view schema. We have orders. Does orders relate to my products in any way? It has order details. Okay. So my orders can relate to my order details. Awesome. And my order details does have the quantity in there. So I might only need the orders in the orders details table or better yet, I can use the products in the orders details table. That looks right. So in this case, I can join product ID from the products table to product ID in the orders details table. Awesome, so we're gonna use products in orders details. Awesome, what column are we joining on? Because if you need information for more than one table, you need to join. So we're joining on the product ID table, I mean column. And then what do we want to return?
So we want to return the product name and the order count. Okay, so now let's start doing our common table expression with, and let's call this product orders as parentheses. All right, so let's select what we need. So let's look at our products table. We have product ID and product name. Orders detail, we just have product ID. So I want to return the name. So I'm going to do product name. So P dot product name. And I also want to return a sum of the quantity. So I'm going to do sum of order details dot quantity. Okay. And then I'm going to do this as order count. That's what I'm going to name it. Great. So now we can join these two tables. So I'm going to join products as P. Great. Um, from, not join, getting ahead of myself, from products as P. Then we're going to join that on order details. That's going to be OD. We're going to join on p.productid equals od.productid. And since I want to do a count by product, I am going to do this a group by, just like we did above, because I wanted to say furniture 50 quantity iPhone 70 quantity. So I have to group it by something. So I'm going to do group by P dot product ID. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and do our nice little clean select. So now I'm going to select the everything from the table that I just created product orders. And I'm going to do a where, because I only want to return products that have been ordered more than 50 times. So I'm going to say where order count is greater than 50. Okay. And then let's do another order by here. So let's order by order counts descending to get the item that was purchased the most. Similar how we did. Okay. So now we're going to run this. And this is what I get, all right? So these are the product names and their corresponding order counts. Awesome. So those were our three practice problems using CTEs. Now, you could have easily used these with a join. So for this case, you could have did a join and then you could have done a filtering where you're going to filter for order counts greater than 50, right? But this is to kind of get you used to reading the syntax of a CTE. So I highly recommend that you switch to hospital database and kind of practice with the hospital database. Keep in mind that this does not save your work. So see how I switch? It automatically gave me a new screen. To get started, you just delete everything out of this view and just start practicing queries, okay? So thank you all for tuning in to Learning with Jelly. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Get that practice in. I'm going to have a link to my Etsy shop and buy me a coffee in the description below. And I will see you on day 21. Have a great day. Bye-bye.